Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Kimmy Go Angel. We're back with some more Persona 3 Reload. So last where we left off was a big ass doozy. We have lots of stuff that was happening. We follow a ghost story that apparently wasn't a ghost story, but we found out that Fuku was missing, which is becoming a big serious problem because she was supposed to be our future member, but now she's just gone. Um, Sinjiro, who's a mysterious person for us, came back and, and you know saved us from what was happening at the little gang spot that was happening. And um, now I guess our objective is to wait for the full moon, which is I think next day, which is tomorrow of this game. And I don't know what we're going to be doing in the next full moon because we already warned by the boy and I, I'm assuming we'll be fighting our second boss. So let's be, we're going to be seeing what's going to be happening with that. Oh, it's you. Could you free up your day tomorrow for me? There's a lot to be done for Fuka. I'm going to require your Please. assistance. If you have any urgent affairs, then I suggest you settle them by the end of today. Oh, okay. She's letting us know. Like, you got, you got to do something. The wait is over. The wild duck set is finally here. Plus, your free drink that comes with the set will have extra ice. Okay, maybe. I actually forgot that we had to go for to Elizabeth back for the challenge because I was so happy that we ranked up twice. Marvelous. It's as if you, uh, it's as if your presence emanates a far brighter radiance from them before. I'm looking Fragments. forward to Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. It seems you completed the request. I see that you took on the burgers establish establishment's eating challenge. I wasn't aware that completing it would grant you access to an off-menu combo. Marvelous. What a truly generous service. Though it has only made me yearn even more to challenge it myself one day. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Can we ask her now, or...? A shame. Okay, so it has to be like during the day, then. Very well, then. Yeah, I guess we'll just go back here. Saturday and Sunday nights only, the wild weekend wild duck set. Yeah, might as well. Now we got a trophy. I decided to try the weekend wild duck set. So what is happening today? What are we doing today? Yo. We're supposed to gather in front of the faculty office during lunch. What's this about? Whoa there. Dude, you serious? We're supposed to ask about Fuka, remember? But asking Mr. Ikoda for an explanation sounds like a total pain in the ass. This is so lame, especially when compared to when we went to that spot behind the station at night. Um, you got punched. I don't think you want to deal with that again. Senpai, why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I, I never thought it'd turn out this way. Fuka. Hey, I remember you. This is what you get because you're a fucking bully. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Moriyama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Um, you fucking need to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... she always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. 
That's when I realized she may be a model student, but deep down she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. You were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Wait, what? You trapped her inside? What? That, that's messed up. That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so she went back to the school by herself. But she never came back. And the next morning... Oh, so right after that, she just was collapsed by that point. She was found lying outside the front gate. I'm assuming when, he, when she went to see Fuka, maybe the dark hour came by at that point. Which is really late, because why would you be outside at fucking midnight just to go to the school to check up one girl? But, I'm assuming that's what happened. She went to see Fuka at midnight, Dark Hour it hits, and she got fucked up. Like, she- <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny about it, but like, she got met- like, she just got, like, hit with the apathy syndrome. Like, right then and there. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. So that's why they think it's Fuka's girl ghost. I see. Mr. Okoda, all this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. Yeah, she's pissed. I was thinking of the students, of course. Yeah, but why are you say you're you're protecting a student who was technically who one is bullying another student, and two, if she did off herself, if that's what they're trying to imply, you wouldn't protect her. Like you wouldn't want to figure out why you would you wouldn't write her out like that's ridiculous i'm so sorry that's fucking ridiculous that's pathetic as a teacher you children may not understand but we have to consider the future of everyone affected uh <sighs> that's kind of fucked that's really fucked up that's so you chose up. not to report a missing child for mm -hmm. the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. Yeah, you're you're a fucked up teacher. It it was in her best interest. No, it was not. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. <laughs> I'm actually mad. Like. <sighs> Despicable. Yeah, I'm pissed. Like that's fucking ridiculous. Despi no, I, I. No, you fuck. You fucked up. That's dumb. Like a little, a, a fucking a, a, one student. You shouldn't be covering for one student like that. That's fucking ridiculous. Like. I didn't mean. Uh, I, I was just. Nah, nah. We know. We know it. Mitsuru goes to the principal. Fucking fired his ass right now. That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. Wait, but no, you're no. Don't get the worry. fuck out. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. <sighs> yeah, you fucked up, fucking dumbass. Like I'm pissed. I can't about believe your that you're dead ass. Like, oh yeah, so, a, a girl could commit suicide, but that doesn't that doesn't matter to me. Like, what the fuck, man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm gonna call myself down. I'm so. That's just so. That's so frustrating to me. Like how. Like, how can you really think that? Like, seriously. Anything at all? <sighs> a voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it, calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai, could it be? It's them. 
No doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the dark hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room, no matter what happens. <sighs> if you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. Luka... Iori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Is she like... Stuck in Tartarus? Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh... I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Yeah, like she's just stuck in Tartarus, it seems like. Wait! You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. That sucks, like, like, like she was just, she just got out of the hospital, she was just recovering. Like she's a fr young, she's a frail, kind of a weak person. And these fucking kids, these fucking dumbass idiots, <laughs> kids who just decided to be like, oh yeah, let's just lock her in a gym for some unknown reason. They just wanted to fucking bully her for whatever reason. And then because of that, she got, yeah, like, just because the Dark Tower itch, she got stuck into charges, and that's why everybody started effing up. Like, that's... It's not, this really sucks. But that was ten days ago! D damn, ten days stuck in Tartarus? No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the Dark Hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? Yeah, like so she's been she's still not around. What is she, what is she doing then? Nobody knows. It doesn't like, nobody knows. That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been 10 days for us, it could have only been 10 hours for her. Oh yeah, like if it only if it's only one hour within the twenty four hours a day, because technically it's like a twenty fifth hour. Then wow, that could be yeah. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us, how could she last ten days worth in there? That is true. Well, she does have a persona. So... And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? Wow. I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her, I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Senpai? All right, we know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> In that case, I've got just the thing. You do?
No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. Does we need someone to monitor? Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? Unexplosive? <laughs> no. All right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. He's like pickpocket or something, lockpick or whatever. See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? Well, it helped us. So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. We oui, good job. No! <laughs> uh, why does it make me so happy? We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? Uh, what? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? <laughs> why are they talking in different languages anyway? It was like one set, one word. Like wasn't even that much. Can we turn on the lights? Ah, you scared? No, I'm not. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, that's uncalled for. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? All right. So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test <laughs> questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Damn. Hey, come on! Obviously I was joking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. I love the fact that even though Akihiko is like, Oh, I'm ready to fight, I'll, I'll punch anybody in my way or whatever. He still is intimidated by Mitsuru. Like he's he's like, no, I don't want to be in her bad side. I, I can't do that. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Yori, you're coming with us. Alright, let's get this over with. Alright. Do you hear something? What? There's someone else here? We gotta hide! <sighs> it was just the security guard. Think it's a ghost? You're freaking out? Let's hurry. That's all. I mean, can you blame me? Everyone has something they're afraid of. This is a totally normal reaction. Well, now that I think about it, that could have just been someone else from our group. So hearing footsteps isn't a big deal. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, right? <laughs> uh, why am I laughing? <laughs> She's like, I'm just laughing my way to, to, to not be scared. <laughs> God, Yukari. M my phone. Why now? And of course, it's just spam. I mean, that would freak most people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. I get that. You guess that was so cute. <laughs> um. 
Dzikie. All right, fine. I'm a chicken. Happy? A cute chicken. Why do we not bring a flashlight, at least? What does it say on this one? Gem storage mor morgue. Morgue? Um, isn't that like... Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of... <laughs> huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? We're already outside. <laughs> Guys, come on. All right, we'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Alright. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatani. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. Alright, Junpei. We'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What? What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Yeah, Yukari is not comfortable being with Mitsuru. So being by a dumb two by themselves, she's like, I don't really want to do that. Uh, no, no. It's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. heard back from them. The transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour, but we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. But she's already, like, brainwashed, it looks like. Yeah, I guess so. We are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got separated. We got separated? Akihiko. Come in, Akihiko. Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. What happened to us? Oh, because since we were at the school already, we got separated into different areas then. I must have lost consciousness. I 
I don't see Sonata and Junpei. Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Where are the others? Don't worry. You'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk tonight. There is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. Communication has been lost. Alright, so it's just yeah, we're just soloing this. Rescue Fuka and rendez rendezvous with the others. Okay, they aren't on this floor. Oh my gosh, she was she appeared, she appeared! I'm still trying to loot regardless. Just one damage though. Come. I'm just by myself though, but I'm cool as fuck. Ooh. Do I even have this one? about you. I'm glad you two are safe. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah. Kind of like Who's there? Are you human? She's here. That's it. That's the voice. Wait. Didn't that come from behind us? Oh, she's <gasps> Oh my god, look how cute she looks. Oh my god, she looks so precious. She looks so cute. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Oh, are you okay? Y yes I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? Mm, no good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru. Actually, she might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. He just had a backup? <gasps> Wait. Is fair? Is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon. It's huge. 
I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. <laughs> hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? It was a full moon then, right? It was full. Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Uh, Eagle, shut those on. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. So every full moon, something happens to, to like the outside Mitsuru? world. Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Damn it! What the hell's going on? I totally lost. It's one of them. If my guess is right. They come every full moon. Yeah, like We've a big monster. Hurry. The big monster like appears every full yeah. moon. Oh my bad, Jinpei. What happened? There's two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <sighs> What's going on? Nothing's working! Tanada-san, we gotta draw the shadows away. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it! Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Hey! What the? Oh, she she's uh, here! Uka. No, what are you doing here? Moriyama-san? Hey, come back! Please, get out of here! It's not safe! I... I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Hey! Look out! I have to protect her. Well, even though she ruined her life technically, she's willing to protect her. Wow. Yamagishi-san? A persona? Guys, we already knew this. Uh, Akihiko told us that she had one. I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take her place. We'll handle these guys. Okay. for the monster's weaknesses. Please, give me some time. Okay. I'll go with... Or so Let's see. Time in! One step at a time. I've got you. Oh, okay, okay. You're up, leader. Right. What to do? Fortuna! 
Wow. Oh my bad, I didn't get to see what she said, it skipped so quickly. Please tell me when to activate it. What did she even say? Oh, pressing that while on the analyst screen to use Spooker Skill full analysis, doing so will deplete her SP. Carrying out a full analysis will reveal the enemy's weaknesses, use it to battle more effectively. Note that a full analysis can only be done after everyone, both allies and enemies, have ended the turn in the first round. No, I had this kind of power. Wow. Your ability is just what we hope for. It's even more accurate than Mitsuru's. Persona. What to do? Not that. Um. Do we have anything to get cure Junpei's stun? It does not seem like we do. Something else. I'll go with. Naga! Yeah, she can't do anything. I'll take care of this. So they switch each this they switch each time. Wow, they're actually doing a lot of damage. Holy shit. Never mind. There. The incredible June Page back in X. Can't stop me now. How do we not have anything for distress? 
Not bad, huh? The best bet would be. Let's go! I need to give it a hand more so than me. I wonder who's for the Akihiko. Okay, they shift again. That doesn't count. Fire resistance. Oh my god! It's a small damage! I'll go with um, <laughs> Where's the healing at? Jupiter only has two health. Can't stop me now. Yeah, I have nothing to help with that, to be honest. Can't let this go to waste. The best bet would be. Better use this. Okay. Okay. I really didn't think that I was gonna make that work. Oh, but we got the new tarot cards. But we leveled up too. Or they did. Are not there us, more of them? Don't worry. It's over. Luca, you. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Fuka has a pure soul. Oh, Fuka! It's all right. She's just exhausted. 
Uka, Uka, I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the Shadow. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry! It wasn't easy, but we managed to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. The mysterious boy appeared again. His warning doesn't seem to be just a dream. I can't make any sense of it right now. I feel way too exhausted. I should get some rest. <sighs> oh my god, that was actually a tough battle. I actually almost lost that. Good morning. Yeah, Megishi and Moriyama are recovering nicely. They'll be released from the hospital in the next few days. That's good to hear. Precisely. We need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. Considering the power of hers, we could definitely use her help. I guess we just go back to our normal school life. I, I checked out all of the new first year girls. They're all pretty cute, but the glasses girl in the student council is especially cute, don't you think? Tuesday. Yo. Is that right? Uh. Seems like Yamagishi is still asleep. I can't help but worry about her. No, it's all, it's all right. We did good. We got her. I'm happy we we rescued her. Yo. Right, let's spend time with Tomo. <laughs> with Kenji. Kurijo Senpai and Sonata Senpai went to the hospital to visit Yamagishi on a visit. I wonder if she's alright. Hey, so. I bet Kurijo and Sonata are trying to convince her to join our team. That worries me. Yo. They're both looking for the hospital. That means no charters tonight. Yeah, I guess we have to do other things, right? One of these. That's a conversation do conversational dialogues paired with pictures of overseas travelers. The protagonist wants to go to the airport but keeps getting distracted on the way. I watch as they speak with broken grammar to get a discounted burger. What is this for? Academics? Oh, it is. Okay. Good to know. We get to have essentially because academics is kind of—it's like really hard to get up. Hey. So do you think Kirijo saved Yamajiji-san because it was the right thing to do, or was it because she's a personal user and we needed her? Wow, Yukari thinks that that she. What? Uh, wait. Yukari makes it seem like she just thinks that Mitsuru was just like, oh, I just want to use her. Which is not, I don't think that's what that, what Mitsuru wants. Like, Mitsuru wants to get stronger. She's been using her 
persona as a as a as a navigator because it has slight abilities for it because no one else can do that. Even if they knew this too as a persona user, they didn't really do anything either. We spent a whole week talking about her. No one convinced her to join. And we were even planning on saving her even before the persona. So Yukari is just kind of that's kind of a like a dick move, I guess. It, I don't know. That's kind of weird that she that she's thinking that. Yeah. Yeah, I think she generally like I think Mitsuru generally has uh, good intentions for this. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. Hmm. Our next topic. Are we up to the current career area? I guess not. Oh man, we haven't even reached the Nara era. Let's just power through this real quick. First, the Taika reforms. They they happened in the year 645. Just remember that, and we can move on. What were they about? Oh, nothing major really. Later on in 710, they were the Heiji Kyo. Okay, that wraps up the Nara era. No, I guess we're still awake. You actually want more? Okay, here's a question for you then. What's the name of the anthology consisting of 4,500 poems, give or take, leading up to the now era? You know what? I don't feel like picking anyone today. I'll just tell you. We're supposed to cover the Koken watch costume too, but I don't really care. Ask Mr. Koda if you want. Dude, <laughs> these teachers are horrible. They don't care about nothing. <laughs> I want to get the Sokoku era. Most of these teachers don't want to do their job, it seems like. <laughs> and Mr. Cody needs to be fucking fired after the BS shit that they wanted to pull. Fuck out of here, I'm trying to protect the, the students or install that. No, bitch, you were willing to let a girl, like, be... Like, no, that's really ridiculous. Micro bookworms. You're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I wanted to tell you the good news as soon as possible. It's about a customer who came by earlier. Who do you think it was? Here's a hint. Signature. A fan of yours? Competitioner? Wow, I'm impressed. I thought that hint might have been too vague. Mm -hmm. But yes. It was one of the organizers of the campaign to save the persimmon tree. He said, let's protect the tree together. He's already gathered a number of signatures from students who are in our son's class. That's great. That's amazing. Well, both great options was great. Everyone's banding together to honor the memory of our son. He really was loved by many. Of course, he was our proud son. I'm sure he's just as happy as we are. All right, let's go to GeckoCon right now. I have to tell my son the good news. Sure, let's go. That's good boy. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so excited to go for a walk before. The elderly couple is showing their affection for me. They're so happy. Aww. Let's race to the persimmon tree. I won't lose. Not even to a youngster like you. <laughs> All right, dear. We'll be back. Thanks for watching the store. Wait, she's not coming with us? Oh, I thought she was going to come with us. It's a message from Sanada. Yamagishi is being released from the hospital today, but we all need to talk to her together. Come to the command room when she gets back to the dorm. Alright. Maybe we'll let her know what's happening, right? Oh, thank goodness! Yamagishi is leaving the hospital soon. Isn't that great? Yes, it is great. Finally made up my mind to work hard for a brighter future. Something's gotta drag me down. Will you hear me out? <sighs> Sorry. 
I'm not in the mood for ramen today, that's what he said. What's wrong? I can't eat. What happened? You sure you want to know? Well, yeah, you wanted to talk, though. I don't think we're gonna get to eat together like this anymore. Oh, because he doesn't like the fact that he has to do all that work now. To be honest, something's been on my mind. I saw a magazine in Emmy Ree's room. Guess what it was called? Right to be occult living and fashion? How'd you guess? Man, you're amazing. When I saw that magazine, it got me thinking. And I've made up my mind, man. As soon as I graduate high school, I'm gonna marry Emmy. What? <laughs> okay, I would assume that she has that magazine because she's gonna be getting married soon to another person. This person, Ken Kenji, I feel like is the is the most delusional person I've ever seen in my life in a game. You think that's a good plan? No. You're a Russian thing. Sure, whatever. Congrats. No, this is bad. <laughs> You're rushing things. I'm not rushing things. I'm gonna marry her eventually, so what's the difference? Why should I wait? I'm seriously in love with Emiri, and I'm gonna marry her. Oh my god. Then, Emiri Kano will be known as Emiri Tomochika, and I will make her the happiest wife ever. He was she's serious. Sorry, I just want you to back me up, you know? Tomachika seems dead set on this plan. Uh... We should get going. I wonder how many more times I'll get to walk home with you like this. He's too he's too delusional for his own good. I'm not too sure how this is gonna go. So you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes. <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh okay. I just wanna quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job on covering the truth. Uh, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news. From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Yeah, that's what I was thinking that they did. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. Right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. No, Fuka, you know for fact ain't your fault, girl. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. Yeah, but that's still their fault. <laughs> that's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho Senpai. We won't force you to. I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sonata Senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it. I'll do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. 
Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? But you're only talking about her when me and Junpei got dragged into it immediately. Why is it with her? It's a special fucking case. Um, it's okay. Really. Yukari picks and chooses when she wants to be nice or or talk about what she really feels about it. It's fucking dumb. I'm it's her it's like a it's not I don't know what it is. It's not like split personality type shit. It's just it's frustrating to me because it's just like me and Junpei, we got in immediately, we, we worked our ass off, it's like that. We she didn't say shit about that. With Fuka, she's like, oh, it's just a dainty little girl, and she's like, no, we want, we shouldn't have her do this, yada yada, and it's just like, but why? Even with Tsuru, she's treating her like, oh, like, I, there's just some, so many underlying issues with her that we don't know fully yet, that it's just frustrating to me to see how she's reacting to this, like, how Yukari is reacting. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. We figured out the pattern for when shadow, special shadows appear. Is this what the mysterious mysterious boy was trying to tell me? Or just start paying attention to the moon phases? So I guess it just seems like she's gonna be joining us soon. I know she technically made the decision on her own, but it didn't seem like Yamagishi was really giving a choice of a choice to me. I don't like it. Oh, that's right. Kirija son is silently like left to walk her home. It's late. Today was a great day for us all. We gain a new power and then more about shadows. We're entering the next phase of our battle. We can't just sit on our hands either. I say we, we could use a new trick up our sleeves. Hmm. Dude, she's the exact opposite of Yukatan. Smart, kind, modest. What do you think of her? Uh, not bad. I don't really care. Is that all you think about? Wait, what? Dude, you need to lighten up. Keep up the attitude and you'll be wasting your youth. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I thought I would get another option to choose, but I guess not. I'll show you to your table. Oh, because the charm got up. We can try out the new course. The seafood full course. Finally, yes. Morning. What do you think of Yamagishi san? She's cute, she's very helpful. She's cute, but she is very helpful. Is that all you have to say? I mean, yeah, her persona ability is pretty amazing, but doesn't it seem... <sighs> Yukari, like, girl. What is, what is the issue here? I want to know what is the underlying issue here for this. She's going to be okay. Like, Yukari, stop. This is the third, I think third or fourth time hey, you talked about did it. did you hear? Apparently, Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Oh, are we, oh, okay, he's getting his ass fired. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Uh, um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! 
quiet. She can hear you. Damn, she just got regulated to just being called gross. Damn, that's sad. Oh, Fuka, you're here. Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorm. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. <gasps> Thank you. I'm glad there won't be a FOMO for a while, but still, I can't help thinking about it. It must suck to be a bully. You have to pretend to be nice and no one gets suspicious. If someone finds out, you have to be even nicer to them. That's something. Never yeah, know. Hey! Ikoda is with Suga's homeroom teacher, right? I just saw him just now, and man, he looked like his world was gonna end. Is this what Makarija Senpai meant? She did tell him, I'll make sure to deal with you later. He deserves it, like, if she got him fired. Like, bro, that was messed up. So everybody's just at a point where they're not gonna really... Fuku's moving into one of the rooms on the third floor, but the girls put their foot down when I offered to help. They said us guys aren't allowed. Looks like she'd be coming here pretty early tomorrow. Exciting stuff. Hey. Nice. The girls said no guys alive, but what if they need help carrying their heavier stuff? I guess they'll call for us when they really need the help. Hmm? What is it? If you're looking for me too, and talk about they're on the third floor. It sounds like they're getting their getting Amigishi's room ready, so about, that would be much ruse. Unless, like, they find a cockroach or something. <laughs> Please don't let there be any cockroaches. Wow. I'm sorry. I apologize for not being able to go to the charter as multiple, multiple days in a row. Prepar preparing for Yam Gimishi's move has taken longer than anticipated. Alright. That's fine by me, I don't care about going to Tartarus right now. Uh, what can I even do? Is this more... Academics? Oh yeah, it is more Academics. Can we do the Big Eater Challenge again? Maybe we can raise our stats that way. Uh, so it's just a one-time thing. Damn. What's happening today? You've prevailed yet again. Do you remember what I said before? About everything coming to an end? Well, I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now. Considering the vast potential inside you. Plus, it seems like your powers changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, 
Can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Yeah, whatever. Fine by me, sure. Yeah. For me, it technically is like a yeah, whatever. <laughs> Guess you don't really care. Maybe I didn't need to bring it up, hmm? You and I have been together since the beginning. My name is... Pharaohs. I know we'll get along great. I can feel the beginning of a bond with the mysterious boy Pharaohs. Okay. Oh, this is the deaf arcana? Okay, makes sense. Well, it's getting late, so I'm going now. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I guess we meet him in the next when the the close to the next full moon then. Good morning. Yamagishi will be living in the dorm with us starting today. From this point on, she'll be providing us with support and hardest at night. That means I can start joining battles again. That's reassuring. Yes. Yes, you could depend on me. Even if I'm a bit slow starting out, rest assured that I'll catch up to you all in no time. So we get Fuka and Mitsuru at the exact same time, pretty much. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm excited about it. Oh, good. You're all here. I know this is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special gifts for us. I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. Special? Does that mean we can expect something good? I don't know. This is Ikutsuki-san we're talking about. To be honest, I'm surprised he didn't say any puns in the last meeting. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. Oh my god, oh. Whoa, oh. Greed is a terrible sin. Alas, I cannot help but want, and now the number of requests I have for you has increased. Oh, we gotta go to Elizabeth. Okay, okay. We got new requests. Marvelous. I can see that you are living quite the fulfilling life between nurturing your bonds and striving for self improvement. This is less of a reward and more of a gift from me to you. I'm looking and we got four. Forward to Okay, so what do you want? Here you are my requests. I want to look fashionable. Bring a fashionable item? Oh, yes! I've heard that all humans are greatly fixated on their appearance. Therefore, I like to try my hand at dressing up as well. If you don't mind terribly, could you please bring me a fashion item that would suit me? I believe you could find something in a place where people often gather to mingle. I'll be looking forward to it. By all means. Bring that. <laughs> I'll be changing it up and issuing it as a little quiz. Please bring me a triangular sword, your hint. It was originally used for dueling. If you keep help figuring it out, if you need help figuring it out, perhaps you can ask your f close friends. Sometimes it is most wise to ask others for assistance. I will await a report of success. By all means. I'm not even level 23 yet. I will yet. await a report of success. By all Oh, yes. I hear there exists a research lab called the Nurse's Office which, within the learning facility you attend. Experiments ranging from the scientific to the supernatural are conducted there all day and night for the sake of humanity's health. Apparently, aside from ordinary medicine, potentially lethal ones are also created there. I would like for you to negotiate with the master of the Nurse's Office and bring me that potent medicine. I will medicine. await a report of success. Oh, yes! There is a custom in your world in which a bouquet of flowers are given to a woman. I would too would like to receive such a gift, a bouquet of flowers. Therefore, I request that you bring me roses of the deepest crimson. They will stand out brilliantly in our ultramarine color world. I shall be waiting the loveliest brocade of roses. I will await a report of success. A shame. I guess we won't. Yeah, we gotta do all these quests first. Very well. I'm getting hungry. Should we stop somewhere and grab to bite and eat? 
Ooh, let's get some Octopia Takayaki. It was at, it's at the to over to Iwa to the strip mall. You have to take the monorail. Times have changed, but some things like schools having ghost stories never do. I used to sneak into a school ground at night. The teachers would give me holy hell for it. Push through with this, they're almost done. Oh my dear, there's a mistake there. That's not how you write, Gekokon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. What, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know. <laughs> Why a letter? No, oh, no, no, don't look. Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you when the time is right. Okay. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure, excited. <laughs> we are too. Your enthusiasm is contagious, you know. Just talking with you is enough to make our hearts race. Just look at my wife. She's as giddy as a schoolgirl. The two seem to trust me deeply. Whoa, they're at nine. I thought this was eight. That said, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next visit. Oh man, we're so we're almost done with them. I feel sad already that we're done. We're like finished with them. Oh, this is her room. Are you in there? Wow, look at her room. Look at all the flowers. Yes, come in. I think we should start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so... I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. Are you looking into something? Yes. I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle. I can't do any actual fighting, so I need to make myself useful. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now that I think about it, everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sonata-senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo Senpai is strong too. And Junpei. Well, he's. whatever. <laughs> Junpei always gets fucking. like side sideline by Yukari. It's so freaking ridiculous. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. Well, that was because we just split up into different teams. You know, you could have been with us, but we didn't do it that way. So, it's not really your fault on that. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> That's not true at all. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. 
Uh, I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on. I think akutsuki sounds gonna be here soon. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you, Yukari-chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. Well, let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. Wow. I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. Ooh, we got some new fits. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. We can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone to use these during your operations. Combat gear, complete with a matching armband. And your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of Fearji. Fearji? Theurgy. Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions, and when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for something like this. Okay, how does it work? <laughs> well, about that. It's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. Uh, you're asking a lot. <laughs> oh, please. If you can handle a persona, this should hardly be any more difficult. It's been thoroughly tested for safety, too. So nothing to worry about there. Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. Well, I'm sure glad I made it in today. With Yamagishi-kun joining us, Kirijo-kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seize is going to have a new lineup after today. And what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough, though, so I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Okay. I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo-kun. And there he goes. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like careless. It's fine. We should just give it a go, like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. Wow, the first Tartarus mission of all six of us here? I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. How does that sound? Yeah, no mind. Sounds... And it's settled. I'm excited to see what we're going to be doing as our whole squad here. Let's give this theurgy stuff a shot. Can't wait to see what kind of punch it's packing. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. All right. We'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. Oh, we're going straight in. Oh. Okay, look at us! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, this looks good! Kari gets like a sweater. Look 
at our squad. Look at this. Let's, look at our cool ass C squad. Oh man, this is awesome. We're like a super elite task force. Come on. Could you Even the portrait has the outfits to? on. Oh, but it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting style. Now we're testing the prototype out on me. But it feels even better than it did before. It's very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military, or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm. What else? There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? How do you use it? Sorry. It doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Hmm. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. All right, Yamagishi. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! All right. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Oh, so Junpei just stays back. Wait! I wanna go too! I was so ready for this! You can't just put me on standby! We can't go without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. We gotta keep our ace in reserve. Yeah? Make him feel... Oh, really? Yeah, make him feel like, you know, he's included. When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. <laughs> uh, okay. There he goes again. Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be oh afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Why? Why can't we just be nice to Junpei for once? Okay. Got it. Huh? You get it? Yamagishi, could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. I like how the dress like becomes a little bubble like for her. It seems different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. It could be because we didn't enter the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. We have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right, let's go. Oh, that new sword looks pretty cool. And this bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So the chairman got us all new weapons too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. He barely hey. explained anything though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started. Ooh, okay, so we got all these new weapons. Um, they're not equipped to us yet, right? Here's one thing. And she starts off at 20 already. So technically, we're a little under level for this situation, I guess. Alright. Um, but before we actually enter Tardis with our new Lever Form Squad, we're gonna have to end it here for today. Alright, that is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We are finally having our squad pretty much formed. 
we got Fuka, we were to rescue her. Her story is pretty sad for what happened and we also got Mitsuru in the process. I didn't expect them to both join at the same time, but that's really exciting that we got them both. Um, we as well as explore the new parts of Tartarus since I'm assuming we'll be able to pass the second part of the floor. I mean, that's what I'm gonna assume, but that's what we're gonna be doing afterwards. But um, yeah, we look at our whole new squad. We got a fitted, new weapons, new outfits, new everything. I'm excited to see what we're gonna be doing with our new team. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.